Yo, what up? It's your boy, Carbar Moses. 2016 Infinity Football, five box break, number 22. It's, uh, oh, look at that. It's time. All right, let's do this thing. Well, no, it's it's not that they're playing old school ball. It's just that they're, they're playing, uh, this is the thing about the Raptors I don't like. One, they're just losers. Like, they win in the regular season, but they don't do shit in the playoffs. Let's start there. But that's not really my problem. You know, winning in the league is not easy. The problem I have with them is that they're sore losers. You know, uh, what I mean by that is like, and that, and they're, like, the entire team is just, it's, they're really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They are, they contradict each other, you know? There's a word I'm looking for, but I can't, I can't find it right now. It's escaping me. Um, for example, let's say it's the fourth quarter, garbage time. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. There's, there's, the, the game is over. The Raptors are up by 20 points. But then, you know, boom, they get a steal. The guy the guy dunks the ball, 360 between the legs. And the other team can't say anything about it, right? But when the Raptors lose by 20 points and the opposing team does the exact same thing to them, it's a problem. I don't like that. There's a bunch of fake gangsters on that team. Serge Ibaka, fake gangster. DeMar DeRozan, well, he might be a legit gangster, actually. That guy might be a legit gangster, but uh, but he's overrated as hell. Kyle Lowry, he's a decent player, but he's he, he, enough said about Kyle Lowry. Raptors are just, they're a really good team in the regular season. You know, they got the home court advantage playing in Canada because jet lag and whatnot, and, and it's Canada, you know? Lowry's a solid player, but uh, you know he, he. As long as he's playing with Demar Derozan, he's not going to accomplish anything. Demar Derozan is a terrible, terrible superstar. He, I say it all the time. He's the worst superstar in the league. Anyway, enough about basketball. Let's do some football. Jacoby Brissett, Patriots. Jordan Matthews, Eagles. A one of one Marcus Mariota of the Titans. Hey, that's nice. That is nice. Got a Todd Gurley. Patch for the Rams. That is numbered to 88. Numbered to 48. Daniel Lasco of the Saints. I need some top looters. Let's go ahead and top load the last go. Thank you, Breaker Addiction. I appreciate that. It's, it's not often that I get somebody to recognize the skills. Thank you, man. All right, we got a little redemption for Thomas Rawls, the Infinite Ink. That is a Seahawk. There you go. That's box one. On to box two. Okay, I see some movement here. Todd picked up a Donruss baseball personal box. Todd, where are you at, Todd? <clears throat> Todd, where are you? Let me know where you're at so I can go ahead and, uh, one, give you the uh, the love and affection you, you deserve. And because I also want you to pick your own box because that's how we do things around here. Big Hurt, that's you? My man. Let me go ahead and hit you with the... Uh... Bob Hammer! 
All right, here we go. So we have Aaron Burbridge, Niners. Le'Veon Bell, Steelers. Fred Taylor to 80. No, I'm sorry. It's number to 90. Wait, what? No, it's number to 88, I think. Fred Taylor, Jaguars. Dad and Will's cards? I sure hope so. I, I, don't, I don't want you to think negatively of me. Let's 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 work some Browns mojo. Come on. Number to eighty-eight, CJ Anderson. Napkin for the Broncos. Also to the eighty-eight, Treadwell and Boringer. And a Packer too, Trevor Davis. So two Vikings and a Packer. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh, I own two of those three teams. Or I own uh Two of those three spots. I got the Vikings. Therefore, majority, I win it, right? Negative. Got a random it between those teams. Vikings get two spots. Packers get the one. We'll random this. And this one, no need to random that. That goes straight to the Packers, yo. To, to 288, I couldn't even talk. Trevor Davis, Packers. Dad and Wills, I also have Contenders Football. That hotness just came out today. And wouldn't you believe it? The Browns are still available. So, Big Hurt, I'm going to do your box after I'm done with this break. All right, dude? Welcome to the room, my man. By the way, if Breakers acts up for you, uh, Big Hurt, we also stream on YouTube, my man. And, you know, I, I also have people that I that, that are chatting it up over on YouTube. And I'm gonna be honest. Most, if not all people, just go to just go to YouTube. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just I'm just letting you know. Cause Breakers doesn't work all the time. Yeah, you see what I mean? Breakers was down a few hours ago. So you know, YouTube I don't wanna say never, but very rarely has that problem. Top Brady Patriots. YouTube does have the party. What can I say? To 88, Joe Namath of the Jets. <laughs> Breakers is for amateurs. YouTube is where the cool people hang out. Well, I can, I can neither deny nor, com nor confirm that. But what I will confirm is that I got a one of one mojo. For the Broncos. That's nice. Nike swoosh and the NFL Player Association patch on that. That's nice. Good luck trying to find another one of these. Because this is the only one. 101, baby. 101. Players that don't play, but hey, it's a one of one. Boom. To 488, Brandon Allen, Jags. Man, I really hope the Dolphins pick up a quarterback in the draft. We need a quarterback! Like this guy, Boomer Esiason of the Bengals. The auto. That's numbered to 188. Two boxes left. K. Daisy, if you're watching, thank you for picking up the Panthers. So, uh, Contenders Optic is now down to 16 spots. I want Baker Mayfield in a, in a Dolphin uniform. I really do. I'm listen. It's I think it's a foregone conclusion. Josh Allen is probably the best quarterback in the draft this season, right? I mean, I, that's just my opinion. I didn't know about him at all until I seen him on the combine. That was my first ever like look, just watching him. The dude, the dude has it all. 
Like, honestly. Like, he's fast, or I should say has good speed, quickness, his drop back. Like, the guy drops back 10 yards in, like, three steps, which is ridiculous. Nice throwing motion, nice tight spiral. He seems to be able to make, you know, whatever throw you need him to do. Josh Allen is probably the best quarterback in the draft. But Baker Mayfield has that star quality that I want in Miami. And my sleeper quarterback pick that nobody's talking about but you should be, Lamar Jackson out of Louisville. The kid won a Heisman Trophy last season, or I should say 2016. Uh, nobody's, or was it 20, whatever. Nobody's talking about him. Nobody. But the kid is going to be big time. Michael Vick 2.0, 2.0 minus the dog fighting. If Michael Vick never went to jail because of that bullshit, he might have had a completely different career. I'm just saying. There's a Duke Johnson for the Browns, but we need some ink on some of them Browns. Mean Joe Green, 4 out of 8 for the Steelers. Saquon Barkley, I'll be honest, man. I wasn't too big on him just because of the school he plays for and, and the competition they faced this season. But dude was very impressive in the combine. Very impressive in the combine. Tyler Irvin to 88 for the Texans. Dual patch there. I I hear you on that, Big Hurt. I, I'm with you on that one. That's why I'm hoping he can, you know what I'm saying, that somebody can, like, coach him up and be like, all right, dude, when you get outside the pocket, just fall down. Just fall down. And Robert Griffin, dude, he, he to me, he, he was like, His career got messed up. Be he, he, I don't want to say he ruined his own career, but he kind of did. You know, kudos to him for trying to play. On, you know, on a on a bad knee after having just came out of surgery and whatnot, only to have it re-injured and aggravated, and and that's really what messed him up. Um, had had he sat down and continued to rehab, he might have been a different story with RG three. Uh, but I think Lamar Jackson is one faster than RG3, a better quarterback than RG3, a lot more accurate, in my opinion, anyway. Then again, I actually didn't see RG3 play in college. I, I did see Lamar play in Louisville because uh, he's in my conference. Yeah, you know, I, I, like to, I like to look out for the competition. And I, I just think he has what it takes, man. I think he's going to be Mike Vick 2.0. The, the newer, improved, non-dogfighting version. I, listen, if the Dolphins pick up a defensive player, as long as it's the right defensive player, I don't mind it. We need help at, 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 at cornerback. Uh, honestly, we're one DB away from having a really disgusting secondary. Uh, maybe pick up a strong safety, or I should say a free safety to play with Pro Bowl or Rashad Jones. Nobody talks about him, but he's... Probably a top three uh, safety in the entire league. Uh, just so happens to play for the Dolphins, so nobody talks about him. We definitely need a linebacker. Definitely need a linebacker, a middle linebacker. Uh, and maybe a defensive tackle or a defensive end. Cameron Wake and Indomitian and Sue are getting up there in age. So, you know, somebody to spell them for a down or two. So, if, if we can if we can pick up a, a good defensive player cool we don't need any offensive linemen we 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 don't need any like if we, we could maybe pick up a running back but if we don't pick up quarterback with the first round pick i'm not a dolphin fan anymore i swear to god i swear to god i'm t i'm tired of this shit well rah rah yeah that's that's what happens when you don't have uh an owner that pays the referees every game you know you actually need players. You guys have the benefit of having Robert Kraft that pays all the referees good money. You know? Anyway, Demarcus Robinson Chiefs there. Last box mojo time.
Let's do it. Yeah, the kid from uh, from UCF, Shaquem Griffin, or whatever his name is. The kid has one arm, but the guy runs a sub 4-4 four four in the 40. He has the quickness, lateral quickness too, flat out stupid greasy speed, and he has a chip on his shoulder. You know, that's what everybody's talking about. Oh, the kid with one arm. Oh, the kid with one arm. The guy can actually catch the ball too. Which was my biggest concern, honestly. I was like, well, how is he going to catch the ball in the linebacker drills? He caught them all. Didn't drop one. And, and, and he doesn't even need to catch the ball as a defensive player. As long as the other team doesn't catch the ball, we good, baby. And with that 4-3 speed, he can close out no problem. And like I said, the kid has a chip on his shoulder. Shaquem Griffin's going to be a good player. Hopefully he goes to the right situation. I would like to see him as a stealer. That would be sick. Or a Raven. You know, one of those defensive teams. Anyways, let's uh, do this last box here. LaDainian Thomas and Chargers. Jay Cutler Bears. Exactly, I agree. I would love to see a quarterback or a running back try to get away from Griffin. The kid runs a 4-3. <laughs> a 4-3. Bro, there's wide receivers that don't run 4-3s. That's sick as hell, man. I, I hope the kid goes in the first round. I really do. That The kid deserves it. He had an amazing season last year at UCF. Killed it at the Combine. Has heart out, you know, has the biggest heart probably out of anybody in the Combine. And the, the kid's strong, too. He put up those, uh, he, he put up the bench press up for 20 reps on one arm. If that's not good, I don't know what is. Keenan Reynolds, Ravens patch. It's going to be an interesting draft. Interesting draft. It's quarterback heavy. But there's good talent. There is good. There's always good talent in the league. Or coming into the league, I should say. Chris Moore of the Ravens. That's to 88, the dual relic. Oh, boy. Rookie card for Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys. That's nice. That's nice. Number to 288. That is nice. Phillip Rivers can still slang that thing, though, Breaker Addiction. But I hear you. It, it might be time to plan for the future. And to 488, Tyler Higby of the Rams. Sorry, those of you that did not get a hit. That's the last one right there, Tyler Higby Rams. Now we got one card we need to random. All right. Let me go ahead and put the randomizer up on the screen. Blad out. So, I have three spots, and I'm going to get each a spot. So we have Vikings twice. And then we got the Packers for the one spot there. Michael, thank you for joining the breaks, man. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. So I rolled the number one, but that's not fun. I'm going to go 11 times. Sorry, Dad and Wills. Hopefully we'll get you something good in the next one, my dude. All right, so 11 times in the random top team wins this thing. Let's go. And the money shot 11. Going to the Vikings. Going to the Vikings. All right, let's do the recap for this thing. So we had a redemption for the Seahawks. Thomas Rawls, Infinite Inc. Tyler Higby, Rams. Zeke Elliott, Cowboys. Demarcus Robinson, Chiefs. Boomer Esiason, Bengals. Brandon Allen, Jaguars. 
Trevor Davis Packers, and Daniel Lasco Saints. And that was the break, y'all. 2016 Infinity Football, five box break number 22, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.